Hey everyone, welcome to the custom graph feature of AB Quantum. This was introduced in the major update version 3.2. This came out along with WES, the Kestrel integration, the CDF calibration tool. Uh, along with those, you also we also added the ability for you all to have comparison and custom graph functions. Some important notes here. Uh, the abilities that you're going to see here are for AB Professional uh, subscription licenses only. If you have Ultralight or Elite, you'll have the standard graph, um, but you won't have the comparison and some of the custom graph tools that you see. So with that out of the way, uh, we'll go over how to use them and what features exist here. So when you're using the graph, you still have access to all of the other functions like environment. We can update these. And this is important. You'll see that this graph changes based on this information. Target controller. Let's do an update here real quick so that you can see. There you go. Some slight adjustments to that graph. So. That's the first thing to note is that the target information that you input is critical to getting a good output on this. However, we've also added, and you'll only see this controller if you're a professional license or better user, but the ability to compare profiles. So if you go to the graph controller, you can select different profiles, which will be indicated that you'll get a color indicator here and the lines will correspond to the color that's marked for that profile. But we can go ahead and go in here and we can add multiple profiles to compare to generate a comparison graph. So you now have that ability in this version and it's as easy as going to the graph controller and selecting the profiles that you want to compare. You also have a custom function here and that custom function will allow you to select anything that you want. Energy, we can do time of flight. So we'll change it to time of flight and we'll select another rifle here and you can see that we can actually output in time of flight. We can output in does it really matter? We'll do velocity so that you can see velocity and we have distance at the bottom and we have our um, our output units here on the left hand side when we're in the custom function. Now the main profile here, uh, this is your active profile. Uh, it will always be selected and visible. Um, you do you do have the ability to use this in the standard graph as well, where you just have your uh, your velocity here on the right hand side, your drop here on the left hand side, and then your range. So that's it's pretty much as simple as that. You now have a, a custom graph functionality in upgrade 3.2 and you can compare different profiles. One last thing to note, however, is that the range that this graph is set up from is on the range card. So to adjust that, I would come here to the range card. We want to click this settings button and you can see here I can enter. This is another change that came with uh, upgrade 3.2, but I can input any odd yardage that I want here. For instance, um, we could just put 1776 and then I can go to the graph and you'll see the graph follows that. So if you want to adjust the maximum or or if you want to adjust the range that the graph uh, outputs at, you would set that on the range card menu. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or you can always send us a support ticket with your questions by clicking the navigation menu and clicking the support icon. Please like and subscribe to these videos to make sure that you get these updates the day that they come out so that you're ready to use the app to its full potential on day one. Thank you and I hope you have a good day.